There was a Ben Chi rock in Kelly's Field, but no, oh, it's gone now because Ben Chi's, well, there used to be Ben Chi's in Kelly's Field, mainly one Ben Chi, but the builders were after building houses and um, soccer, soccer pitches in Kelly's Field, so the Ben Chi's are now going down to Kelly's Field in my ass. And, well, there's loads of Ben Chi's down in um, the dump field and um, in um, Daddy's as well. There's the Headless co- Coachman and the... The Headless Horseman. The Headless Horseman was probably fighting with a Banshee and he died, or he just... Got his head chopped off. Yeah, or he was just probably jocking his horse down there and something killed him or he just fell off or something. And um, the Headless Coachman, he probably... He got killed by a Banshee or he probably lost his head off a branch or something. And um, the, the rock, someone broke... The builders broke the rock because they never knew it was a Banshee rock. And some people say they got a bad luck. Yeah, bad luck to break the Ben She Rock and then the um some of the builders got bad luck like down in um down in the inner shore there's a fairy tree there and the builder cut it down and he was never seen again. The Han Hambal Ali, no I fell in fourth class, fifth class. Yeah, I was I was in the Hambal Ali last and no playing for Hambal but and then we was getting there. So no, he tipped the four wands, and all the four wands in the Hamble Alley, and said, Hey, Mary, he took and came out and followed him. Mary, three nuns. Three nuns followed him. Hey, you could see, no, we see. see someone did launch him. See, someone did. They could go through him. See, someone did launch him, and then tipped the four corners of the wall, and we say, Holy Mary, backwards. No, backwards is very hard to see, like, but he said it, and he seen someone dead in front of him. So, who took off? I ran in the hill, still stayed in there. He stayed in there. There's a place in the bank called the Green Lady. It's all green, like in the swamp it is. And a fella trying his dog in for a swim. And the dog went down and all his bones came back up. Before my brother's friends told you he went to sleep over, it kept on going on. And the tap kept on going on after it. And my brother said, woke him up and said, your toilet won't stop flushing. And he said, no, we're getting the priest in to bless it tomorrow. And they phoned the plumber before they got the priest, and the plumber said, no, there's nothing strong. But they told you the priest came, he blessed it, the, the toilet flushed again that night, and the devil came up and caught everyone in the family. My nan has seen a banishing in her house. She woke up to go to the toilet, but... When she was in the toilet, she turned around like that and she seen the banishee, but the banishee was only that size. And she just turned around like that and done that. She looked away again and it was gone. My friend, Nana, was, she, woke, she woke up one night because she picked up her comb off the ground. And she woke up one night and the banishee, she heard the banishee go, ooh, she heard some noise like that. And she, she went downstairs and the banishee was there. And she, she had a heart attack. He just fell out no head, he joins down the road in half and he had a sword in his hand, no one was pet people, he chopped the head off. It's the headless coach, right? Kian Spell and once I was here, he sits in that desk there. But you could go down that way, you go straight down along and you just see his big house. There's a gate there where it spikes on the gate, you could just walk through it. There's the big graveyard there, but if you walk past that in the night time you see the headless coach, but there's a lot of more. Uh, at the other side of it, the statue of Holy Mary. But when his uncle passed it there a good while back, at about one o'clock in the night time, followed him. They followed him. There were a few people in a pickup, but they went into a church. Near St. Patrick's School, and my friend's friend, her nana and granda were walking down the hill, and the headless man and the deck coach was coming down and the man didn't know so he said how are you and it's a lovely evening and all that. and when he looked like that he was gone again. I was coming down my stairs and all that I seen coming over was something green in the shape of a board and it went through the wall and what's you know, then it went then it came back inside and it went upstairs and around and came back down and out the door. Yeah. There was a man called Headless Horseman. He's from my Ross. He was in my Ross. He lived in my Ross and he had a horse down in Delhi's because Delhi gave him a permission to um, keep, keep him the horse. So he had the horse in there 
and one night he was down in um, down in Delhi driving his horse after drinking with his friends and he was he said he'd he go was down drunk. and look the horse, yeah he was drunk and after he didn't realise it like it was so late. Yeah, he thought it was about half seven and he was after a while then he got drunk and fell off the horse. And he then after about half four the banshees came and killed him. Well banshees came, there were four of them and the leader one came well she lived in Kelly's Field this time, but she came down with her friends and she they came over and killed him and he became the headless horseman and then he killed he um he they took his head but and now they, the headless horseman is after Banshees to get his head back. <laughs> They all said that if you step on a crack, you break on his back, but no one would leave it. I don't believe that you can just break him on his back without returning herself an injury. Yeah, if you step on a crack, that's nothing. Who would believe if you step on a crack, you break your mother's back? That's nonsense. I stood on a crack once and my mother's back got injured all the work. I stepped on a crack and my mother's back didn't break. My mother's back. But Donna Marie's mother. Back did break because she stepped on the crack. So, Jill's his house and there's the Green Lady. So, you go, go down that way to the Green Lady or go down that way. So, you, you go down that way and walk along the bank. Keep going, keep going till you see the little green little pond going around. You look straight across there's his house so you could just. Go down the side of the bank and you could look into it. You could see all rubbish all around it now. But if you fell in there, you will never get back up. And then you pass it on to the grab a window and the tail would want in the night time. The grab a window. Tail. No, my, my sister fell in that and by the swing, she was swinging on the swing. And the, the swing snapped and she fell straight in. She got back up to I was walking down the bank before and um, I was with my uncle and it was on Halloween night. Because I asked him for, and um, everyone says if you pass the green lady on Halloween, she'll try to come up when someone's looking away and she'll try to take you. So I was holding on to my uncle. My aunt was telling me on Halloween night, she lives across from the bank, just there's the bank and there's her house, and um, she was telling me that the headless coach would come out, so she was frightening me so I wouldn't go out playing no more. And she was telling me that he'd come out and take me away. <laughs> And my mother told me there's a such thing that um, it's on some season and um, at 12 o'clock you're not supposed, I think it's on Halloween, 12 o'clock you're not supposed to walk the footpaths because yeah. it's the death's time and they lock you up it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's why that too. That's why I'm not left to walk the footpaths. I am left to walk. It's 12 o'clock on a Halloween night.